look for the helpers. We've got a lot of them here. Beautiful day today. At least it was a little less humid and temperatures really weren't as bad. No heat index to deal with. And for the most part, we stayed in the mid some upper 80s. Nobody getting into the 90s and the dew point of 55 humidity is only 36%. So a good field of the air winds out of the north northeast at 10 miles an hour. Look at our morning lows. We dropped to 59 degrees this morning at Bogalusa, low 60s across the North Shore. Stayed a little milder in the city, 75 at Kenner, but you get away from the city. Bell Chase was 70. Homa was down to 7 or 75 at Bell Chase and 70 at Homa. I think that's what it said. I don't remember. We have under sunny skies all day today. The only cloud cover has been down along the coast and farther offshore, and we're going to get one more very pretty day before we knew the changes are coming back. Current temperatures are in the mid and upper 80s, but as I said, a regular high or average high of 89 degrees. This is a little bit cooler and winter still generally out of the north, but they are starting to take on a little bit more of an easterly component to that wind by tomorrow. That wind will change out of the east and on Sunday it'll be a southeasterly wind, so the moisture starts surging back in. But dew points 50s, low 60s. Hang on to that as long as we can, and that will certainly be the case through the day tomorrow and dew points all day today, even during the overnight hours stayed low and with that dry air in place and clear skies, it will be getting cool again overnight and by wake up time tomorrow morning, we're expecting similar temperatures, probably a few spots in the upper 50s, low 60s in the North Shore, mid 60s south of the city and then in the metro area, probably staying in the lower 70s. Our precision cast model showing that frontal boundary is down to our south, but the moisture starts returning overnight Saturday and into Sunday. We'll also be watching a surge of tropical moisture. And yes, the models are indicating a potential tropical system that we may see in the Western Gulf, but we don't look to have any impacts from that system other than a surge of tropical moisture. We'll detail that in just a second. Less humid through tomorrow. Scattered storms are on the way Sunday, and that wave is now being given a little bit better chance of developing, but still not really concerned about it. Here's what's going on with this upper trough that is keeping us into the dry air mass. That upper trough actually kind of digs all the way down to the south and into the western Gulf of Mexico. You see this upper low right here. What's going to happen is as that upper low kind of draws this tropical wave northward, it should keep it fairly weak and unorganized. There may be a brief window that we could see some organization to that low, and that's why the Hurricane Center is now giving it a 70% chance of developing. What would develop? Let's take a look at the models. The GFS has really nothing going on through tomorrow as that little wave moves across the Yucatan. By late Saturday into Sunday, the GF starts to develop something, but notice kind of moves it straight into Mexico. The Euro, very similar. Nothing going on through tonight or into tomorrow. Chance of development really through tomorrow is slim to none. Once it's in the Bay of Campeche, we start to see some organization, but again, basically eastern Mexico, the western coast of the uh, Bay of Campeche or Gulf of Mexico, or maybe south Texas, but it does not look like it'll be coming our way. What we're expecting to see from that is a surge of tropical moisture, and obviously most of the moisture is going to be off to our west. That's what we're expecting some of the greatest rainfall totals once this event is done, and we could see seven to or more inches of rain across parts of Texas and maybe even southwestern Louisiana. As far as we are concerned, about an inch to two inches across southeast Louisiana through Monday and Tuesday, because both of those days we're looking at it being fairly wet around around the area. So very nice tomorrow, probably increasing clouds later in the day. Some scattered storms on Sunday, wet and cloudy for both Monday and Tuesday, and we return to more of the typical pop up showers and thunderstorms. But notice high temperatures into the mid and upper 80s.